we're back on the boat and my project for this morning is going to be to mount our stern roller contraption so pretty much I'm just gonna position it so that way the anchor will hang straight off the back it's not gonna be too close to the monitor wind vane and it's not gonna hang too far outboard that way we don't bang it into a pier or something when we're docking the whole idea is to get the anchor out where it's easy to launch and retrieve that way we're more likely to use the stern hook so right now I'm just going to get the stern roller kind of test fitted and then we're going to drill the holes, get it through bolted and bedded down. We're going out into the world now to retrieve our ore locks and groceries which we grossly need. It is insane how we don't have food. <laughs> organisms on the planet, sort of. And he's mating! <gasps> so cool! You go guys! Do your thing! Is he killing her? No. no. Okay. It's consensual. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna save you. Should I flip it? Yes, flip him. There you go. go. Be free. <laughs> SpaceX is launching another rocket today, and I'm watching it live on YouTube, but we are kind of in visual range of Cape Canaveral, and we passed it yeah, about 60, 80 miles ago, so I figure we might be able to see it from here once it's you know, aloft and airborne, because Florida's so flat. So let's see if we can see the uh, chemtrail from the rocket launch. At this point we have the stern roller mounted and it's through bolted onto the deck so it can physically hold the anchor here now. The problem is it's a huge cantilever so if we actually loaded the anchor on it, it pull on it and flex it and it could even break the wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount a bob stay which is simply a stay that runs from the end of this guy back to the transom and it's going to help hold it in a vertical dimension. Now usually Bob stays made out of cable, and it's only for when something pulls up. We're gonna do ours out of pipe. That way, it'll help hold against downward forces. So now we have the pipe itself measured, and I put a little line on it for the rough area where I wanna put the cut. Just 
that'll help support the load from this giant anchor here. finished getting the stern roller mounted and we got the bob stay stanchion put onto it so that way it'll I guess it'd be a bob stanchion so we got the bob stanchion installed on it that way it'll support compressive loads as the anchor or road pulls down on it and most importantly we did it with the dinghy tied behind the boat so when we were drilling and everything we actually scooted the dinghy real close under the boat that way all the shavings and everything would fall into the dinghy that way we could dispose of it later. That way it didn't fall into the water. Because the last thing you want to do is throw tiny, tiny, tiny little shavings of plastic into the ocean. Next thing on our to-do list is to fix and replace the through holes on our dinghy. Because they keep leaking and the dinghy keeps filling up with water. So we're going to take care of that today. That's all from just sitting in the water. It just seeps right through. So the bedding's broken. I'm gonna take care of that. It is absurdly windy outside, but we have some stuff that we really have to do, including returning the rental car. So we're gonna have to go ahead and brave it. Today was a really productive day. So we got a whole bunch of work done on the boat, mounting the uh, stern roller and taking care of other projects. But also, since we have this rental car from driving down here, we got a bunch of land errands done. So we went to West Marine, groceries, all over the place. So now, uh, we're just gonna roll all these things back to the boat, and then I'll take the car back, and then get an Uber back to the marina and head back to the boat again. So it's gonna be, a lot of trips. So the wind's been pretty ridiculous here. So it's kind of calm in the morning and then it just picks up and it's, uh, it's really windy, strong current and a lot of chop. It's a little hard when you're rowing a dinghy with two people and everything we've gotten for the day. So challenge accepted.
for Ron and his wife, and I really hope he's happy with it. I'm gonna be mailing it later today. If you'd like a portrait, I do pets and people, and you can email me in the link down below. It's shower time. Actually, it's well past shower time. We're getting our showers. <laughs> Just realized I had nothing to drink today. And now we are presentable humans. Sort of. Mostly. <laughs> Maddie's making dinner. I'm putting on our chafe sleeves on our oars because, as you've probably noticed, they look pretty nasty there. So, this will help stop the bronze from chewing into the wood. Now, one thing though, they say in the instructions that it's super easy to do and you just like push this cone into the thing and everything's easy. It is not easy. we finally got it onto the cone enough, I'm supposed to just gently and easily roll it into a donut and roll it down. But it doesn't want to roll. Oh my gosh. It just doesn't want to roll up. celebrating Easter without our families or going to church or anything, but uh, Herbie wanted a special Easter breakfast of Spam and eggs My secret to making these extra awesome is this ginger apple with rosemary spice that we got in Baltimore way back when. It just, it adds the perfect amount of tang. Sour cream. Just in case it wasn't unhealthy enough. They're a bit overstuffed. I just don't roll them as tight. That's all. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's hot. That's good. So these are the bajantry, and the way they work is you'll have the central trunk, which will. Sorry, you need to manage everything. <laughs> I think this is the greenest meal I have ever had. <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much.